My name is uh, Kenyon Kluge. I'm from Santa Cruz, California. I'm the team owner and rider for K Squared Racing. I'm also the team manager and rider for Zero Motorcycles Racing. If you want to find out more information about me, you can look at my website, ksquaredracing.com, or for more information on Zero Motorcycles, go to zeromotorcycles.com. And now I'm going to talk to you about motorcycles. Motorcycle suspension. Uh, is, a, is in some ways very basic, but to many people it's a black art. Um, so I'm going to go over a few of the parameters of uh, what mo the motorcycle suspension is and uh, to at least give you a basic knowledge of what it is and how it works. Setting up your suspension is, uh, is key. It can really change the whole uh, feel and, and really your love of your motorcycle because it's going to feel so much better when you properly adjust your suspension. So the first thing you always want to do with motorcycle suspension is set your sag. That's your starting point. That's um, the, the, the biggest key factor. And it changes from person to person because we all weigh a different amount. And so your person's rider weight is going to affect the sag of the motorcycle, uh, which is why you have adjusters on it. So we're going to start by setting the sag on the front. Uh, and on the front, uh, for a street application, it should be at about 45 millimeters of sag. Uh, on a race track or a track setting uh, should be about 35 millimeters of sag. And these are ballpark numbers. It's going to vary a little bit um, depending on the rider. Uh, then again, you're going to go and set the sag on the rear suspension. And for the street, uh, you're going to be at about 35 millimeters of sag. And for the track, you're going to be at about 25 millimeters of sag. Uh, once you've set the sag for your body weight, uh, you're going to go ahead and um, adjust the, the what we call the clickers, which is the um, compression damping and rebound damping. On the front, you're going to find your rebound damping at the top. It's going to be these screw adjusters. Uh, and the compression is going to be found at the bottom of the fork. Uh, again, screw adjusters that you can adjust with a uh, flathead screwdriver oftentimes, although it'll vary from bike to bike. On the rear suspension, we're going to do the same. Uh, you're going to find your compression damping uh, at the top or wherever your reservoir is located. In this case, it's a piggyback reservoir, um, but you might have a remote reservoir or in some, some shocks you don't have any reservoir at all and it might just be um, an adjustment up at the top of the shock. Your motorcycle uh, may not have these adjustments. You may only have uh, a sag adjustment or an overall damping adjustment in some cases. Uh, and then you're also going to adjust the rebound at the bottom here. Thank you.